What is up, everybody? It is Wick here, and today's a good day because today's the day Goodwill reopens. Um, I don't know what other thrift stores are going to reopen, but we're going to go see um, what's going on out there. Got a nice mask to put on to protect ourselves and others. Check out the sales. 31 sales here going out today. Almost $2,000 in uh, sales. Um, so that's really nice. Gonna get all this to the post office. But let's get out there and see if we can find anything awesome today. Here we are in Goodwill over in the toy area and the shelves are kind of bare. A little bit disappointing. Here's a Land Before Time toy. I actually sold one of these recently for $25 that I paid a quarter for at a yard sale. This one is $1.99, so that's a, that's a good price. Unfortunately, somebody picked it up. Um, I was recording and walked around and was gonna come back and grab it, and it was gone. Thought that might have been a Jurassic World or Jurassic Park dinosaur. It was not, just a generic one. As always, let me know if you see anything that I may have missed. There is a pop figure up there I didn't notice. Probably not worth anything. Just some children's toys. There's a puzzle. That's a good looking puzzle, 1500 piece Marvel puzzle for $3.99. I ended up picking that up. I already have something in my hand. I picked up when I first came in and I stacked that on top and realized I'm gonna have to get a cart soon because I keep seeing stuff. There's a couple games up there, uh, Scotland Yard and something else I don't remember. I looked them up, could have made a little bit of money, like maybe seven to $10 max and that's only if all the pieces were there. So not really worth my time. There's a humidifier down at the bottom. Not really worth it. There's some electronics, but you might have seen something I missed there. That Life Tone box. I cannot believe. I honestly cannot believe I did not see that. I just saw it when I was editing uh, the video here. I walked right past it, and I love finding those, or used to love finding them. They're actually um, recalled now, so you can't sell them, or you're not supposed to sell them. But I used to sell them used for 100 bucks. Um, I would find them new a lot and sell them for around 200. Uh, I just can't believe I didn't see it. It just wow. I probably missed so much stuff. It's it's unbelievable. But looking at the media, I uh, wasn't seeing anything that was worth picking up or I could really make any money on. But honestly, I didn't go through it very thoroughly. Uh, there's other stuff I wanted to look at. This racket, I thought was a big score. Uh, it was a Wilson Pro 95, I think. I, I did searches on eBay. They were all selling for like 150, 180 pre-owned. I'm like, whoa. But yeah, it was a different one. And apparently the Pro 95 one there is not worth anything. Um, uh, glad I did my research a bit more later. Uh, here in this little area, I find quite a bit of little items to sell. Some Therma Cell uh, repellent refills. And I realized that um, this is the point I need to go get a cart because... There's a lot of stuff there. There was some mag lights there. I don't think they hold any value. I did a quick search. Like even the new ones didn't seem to be selling that great. Maybe like $35 max for a new one. And they're really heavy. So I did end up leaving them. Just got out of my first Goodwill in about two months. Got two bags of stuff. I'll show you here in a bit. I'm going to head to another Goodwill because... Man, I'm already getting the itch again. That FOMO, I wasn't gonna go to any more today, just the one, but you know what? This one turned out to be pretty good, so I'm gonna go hit another one. So this is Ninja Wick. He's gonna stealthily go into Goodwill and get all the profits without anyone noticing. I get inside the second Goodwill and I head over to the toys and wow, they got it packed full of stuff. A lot different than the, the first one. And I'm looking and I'm seeing a lot of sealed puzzles, some sealed games, a lot of interesting looking toys. And I realize I'm probably going to have to go get a cart because I'm probably getting those puzzles unless they're priced too high. Because puzzles have just been moving so well for me recently. And I don't notice anything like super good. It's like, all right, I need to go get this cart. Glance over at the media just to make sure there wasn't any games. Stop by the electronics on the way over to the cart. See that monitor that looks really good. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta go get this cart. I need to record footage though. Gotta record footage for the, the channel. And I'm trying to record, I'm trying to look, but I'm thinking about those puzzles. I'm thinking about that monitor. There's people in there. I don't wanna miss anything like I missed the Land Before Time dinosaur. So I run, get the cart, 
and end up packing a lot of stuff in it. You can see there, finding all kinds of things, looking over in the random miscellaneous aisle for stuff to find. One of my favorite aisles to look in because you really never know what's going to be laying there. In this case, the Eureka filter, I kind of set it down. It's only worth about $8. However, I did find a couple more. So I went ahead and picked up all three to lot together on eBay. And that's about it, I think. I'm not seeing a whole lot of other things to sell. There's a Fisher Price baby monitor vintage. Check that, wasn't worth anything. So I am back home. I'm actually in my kitchen to do this haul video because my dining room table is filled with stuff. But it feels good to be back thrifting again. Went to only two Goodwills and found a lot of great stuff. I'll probably go back out tomorrow and hit about 12 places. So uh, we'll give them some time to put some more stuff out. There was a lot of people donating I saw. So uh, they've probably been just stuck inside and just cleaning out their closets waiting for this day. I know I have. I have a lot of stuff to donate. Let me show you real quick what I found today. Uh, first, let's just look over here. I got this picture. This is just stuff for the house. I just wanted something simple. Uh, the trees, I like it. So it's going to go in the hallway. And I got this lamp. I needed a floor lamp. And this one's actually really nice. Really heavy and sturdy. It was only $7.99. I didn't need one this fancy. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely take it for $7.99. And then down here on the floor, I got this Asus LED monitor. This is, it seems to be new looking in here uh it's got the plastic and everything new this sells for about 160 dollars i may just end up keeping this i don't know um it'd be new open box i'd sell it on ebay wouldn't be able to get the full 160 maybe like 120 uh, i could just ship it in the box you know i could probably make about 75 dollars in the end i paid 19.99 for it but since it's open box, I still got to take it out and test it. Hopefully it's the monitor that's supposed to be in there. It's a 24 inch LED 1080p monitor. So it's actually kind of nice. And I might just replace, since I have four monitors on my computer, I may replace the very top one because uh, it's an older one with this one uh, or, or vice versa. I might change them around. <laughs> we'll see. A great pickup nonetheless. Then up here to the table, we'll just start on this end. Uh, over here, I got this Dallas Cowboys Nike on field jersey. It was four dollars and what is it 69 cents is their clothing price usually they mark up jerseys at goodwill to insane prices i looked up this one it looks pretty good a lot of youth sizes were selling um for 30 bucks so i figured size 52 here um romo if i sell it for 30 plus shipping it's gonna go fine then i picked up this there's a lot of glare here sl8 110 samsung camcorder uh, I popped the box open. They had it taped. Looked like the charger was in there. Looked like it was in good physical condi condition. We'll get it tested. And uh, if it works and everything, we're going to be able to sell this for about, well, I saw one sell for 100 bucks. So, uh, yeah, I'll shoot for that. Of course, Hi8 cameras do very well. Sony does better, but people are buying these to transfer video because they can do that. This over here, Pilot Sport Combo Kit. I really don't know what this is worth. I saw a pilot set sort of like this, but red. Selling for $23. I just picked it up because it was sealed. I figure I'll just put it on eBay, maybe for 20 bucks. I paid 4 dollars for it. 20 bucks plus shipping. I'll make some money on it. Here are some Thermocell mosquito repellent refills. Now these aren't the really good ones. Some packs can sell upwards to $50. I believe they must be foggers or something. This pack right here is worth about 20 and these are worth about eight a piece, these single packs. I'll go ahead and put them on eBay as a lot for all of them for about $29.99, free shipping. Uh, in the end, I should make about $15 profit, but they'll move really quick. Picked up this pack of Brita filters. It is sealed. I paid up a little for this, $6.99. And I'm going to see if my pitcher in the refrigerator takes these filters because mine's in need of changing. If this is the one that it accepts, I'm going to keep these for myself. If not, I'll sell them and I'll just basically double my money. I think it's about 20 bucks for these. I'll sell them on eBay. This was a really nice find right here, this Tripoli game. Uh, on Amazon, it, it, there's one on there for $140 new. It does have a 600,000 rank or so in toys. However, I think that price is a little bit inflated. I will probably price this at 100 bucks and I'll probably get a sale. 
and it's in extremely good condition. It's from like 89. So I believe um, I'll just go ahead and sell this on Amazon as new. Now there is a little hole here in the plastic, but I think that's okay. There's no box damage. Uh, I believe that hole might actually be there on purpose as well because there's usually a small hole somewhere to let air escape. So I don't even remember what I paid for this. $2.99. $2.99. So uh, I'll make money on this. I, I think I'll be able to sell it for 100 but uh, yeah, great pickup. I picked up these uh, Eureka filters for a vacuum. 99 cents a piece. They sell for about $8 fairly consistently on eBay. I'll do a lot of these. I got three of them. And I'll sell them for about 20 bucks, free shipping. I'll make about $12 in the end. Then right here, I picked up this Black & Decker Auto Tape. This is a $20 sale plus shipping. Uh, probably cost about $7.52 to ship, honestly. It's got some weight to it. But, you know, if it works, $1.99 into $20, not bad. Then we got some puzzles, finally. And, whoa, with um, being stuck inside, people have been buying puzzles Got my purple light up there shining on this stuff, trying to get into a spot where there's no glare. I've sold through all my puzzle stock and <laughs> I've gotten some pretty insane prices for some puzzles. I've sold puzzles for 30 or $40 that I had sitting in Amazon for a year that didn't sell. They were shipped back to me. They were just in a tote or a pile. They were going to get redonated or I don't know what I was going to do with them. I ended up moving them for anywhere from 20 to $40, some of these puzzles. Now, I just grabbed all the sealed puzzles. Because of that, these two right here are very basic. Not going to be sold on Amazon. They got a little bit of box damage. I can lot these two on eBay. Probably make about $20. I did an eBay puzzle lot on some of the lower end ones that had box damage. I couldn't sell on Amazon a few weeks ago. I don't know. I made about $40 or $50 on them. I paid $1.99 for all these puzzles. Except this one I paid $3.99 for. This one right here, I'll be able to sell for $30. No problem. And this marble one right here has got a great rank in toys. Yeah, I'll be able to sell this one at $30 as well. No problem. So there it is. I went to two Goodwills and I got some awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I'm itching to go back out. So I'll probably go back out tomorrow. Hit a lot more places. See what I can find. But that's going to do it for the video, everybody. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Be subscribed if you want to see more videos like this. Ring that bell on your way out. Find me on Twitter and Instagram, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick. Till next time.